Hey there, this is Akshat Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, my roadmap, how I cleared AWS CLF 01 exam with just one week of preparation. That's right. I had my full time job. I had this YouTube work. So I did not get much time to prepare for it. But I guess that one week which I gave was more than enough. If you have some basic knowledge of backend, how backends work, how backends are built, how backends are deployed and basics of cloud, cloud computing. If you have learned cloud computing subject in your college, in your third year, that's more than enough, right? And you should know some basics of backend. That's enough, right? Now, uh, I gave like one week and now I'm going to show you what I did in that one week, right? Now, before I jump to the resources and what is the syllabus for it and which all resources I meant, uh, I referred, I would like to answer two questions. So first, of, first question is, who should actually give this examination? So anyone, it's not like that you should be a professional, you should be a working professional or an expert in the IT field. It's not like that. If you are a college student, uh, let's say third year or final year, or if you're a fresher and wants to upskill him or himself or herself, then you can give this examination. Only if you have some interest in development side, backend side, or in the cloud side. If in future wants, you want to uh, get into uh, core backend, or you want to go get into DevOps or into uh, cloud, right? Right? Cloud infrastructures, how clouds, cloud, uh, how services are built on cloud, how they're deployed on cloud, how they're managed there. Then this examination is definitely for you. This is a basic examination for you. This is a fundamental examination for you, right? Now, second question will be, is this examination hard examination? No, AWS itself says that this is an easy examination. And I have given it, I know that this is a completely theoretical based examination. You don't need to have any practical knowledge of AWS. Yes, you don't need to have it. I know. I did not have any practical uh, uh, knowledge of AWS, right? I never had actually uh, worked a lot with the AWS. I just deployed one simple service on EC2, right? That's it. That was just a button clicks, right? So I can say that I did not have any AWS prior experience, right? And still I cleared it. So. Uh, now jumping onto the resources. Now, first of all, I actually most of my courses, like eighty percent of the resources which I took, was uh, from the official, uh, you know, uh, website of AWS. So, and one video which I watched, one or two videos I watched on YouTube, and I'm going to show you which two videos were they. They they are like gold mine for you, right? I'm I'm going to provide it to you. So uh, this is AWS certification website, right? AWS certification. Just type it. Go to the first website. Now over here you have two buttons, schedule an exam and explore AWS skill builder, right? You don't need to click any of them. Uh, schedule an examination, I will suggest you that you do it after you have act, uh, at least read through the syllabus, right? Uh, does it excite you or not, right? So I will go down and over here, find resources by exam, I can select an exam. So select this certified cloud practitioner, right? Now over here, you can actually see exam duration is 90 minutes. Uh, 65 questions and cost is hundred dollars, right? So this is a paid examination. This is not free, right? And these are the languages in which this is, is uh, this examination is available. Now you need to click on prepare for this exam. Now over here you will find these four cards, right? You can see these four cards, right? Now over here, first of all, I'll recommend you to do the first step that is go through the syllabus. So over here you can see this exam guide, click on it. You're going to get a PDF, download it and save it and go through it at least twice, right? So just go through these points and then you can actually go through the uh, exam pattern and the syllabus. So these are the uh, syllabus, right? What are the cloud concepts which are going to be covered in this examination? So security, reliability, these are actually important. All the questions are going to be from the syllabus itself. No question is going to be out of the syllabus, right? This is not your college exam or school exam. That question is going to come outside syllabus, from outside the syllabus, right? So this, this, uh, these topics are actually important and they are fundamentals of cloud. Right. So just go through these topics. Right. And now just go back. And now I'm going to show you which all resources I actually referred. So I actually took one course. Uh, it was free of cost. It was directly from the AWS team. Right. That was for it was a four hour course. It was not a 10 hour, 12 hour course, just a four hour course. And that course actually covered each and every service that I need to know as a cloud practitioner. Right. Now, let me go through it. And then I gave two uh, two exams. Uh, it was not a complete examination. They were just small, small examination of 20, 20 questions, 30, 30 minutes test, right? I'm going to show you which examinations were they, they were practice sets. And then finally I watched, uh, two videos, uh, right. Two YouTube videos, 
and i will first show you those two videos and then i'll come to the aws resources so just go uh, to this shaping pixel channel and over here you're going to find a lot of videos 14 hours 12 hours 5 hours so actually i watched this 500 question 500 q and a mcqs uh, video that is 1 hour 20, 23 minutes so that's okay right you can actually give this if you just put it on 2x because you just need to see the mcq question and you just need to see the answer right so just put it on 2x so this video 500 question covered and this 430 questions so this is 5 hours so this 5 hours because in this video the uh, the video creator is actually uh, reading the statement that's why it is becoming a longer video so if you also put it on 2x it is going to be become a 2 hours or 1 hour video so this 430 question and this 500 question so around 900 930 questions i actually practice from this after doing that aws course which i'm going to show right now right so do this at the last maybe on if you are if you're starting your practice from monday and your examination is next monday then do this two videos or watch these two videos on friday saturday and sunday right now what you need to do on monday tuesday wednesday and thursday i'll i'll tell you so just go over here and prepare for the exam right and over here i need to go on skill builder so what i'll do is aws skill builder just go over here you find this website and now over here i can see that i can actually see some courses right so this is uh this is right i guess i'm not signed in so you need to sign in so i'm going to sign in i'll just do the sign in procedure yeah so now you can see that these are the four courses or kind of four yeah courses in which i have been enrolled one i did not even start i did not have time to start this one but i did this uh, four hour course Cl aws cloud practitioner essentials right so this was the course which i did uh, on monday tuesday and wednesday and thursday so these four days i actually gave it to this course it did not take four days it took around one day but uh, assuming that uh, you are just going to give one hour each one hour every day so that's fine right you can utilize this course uh, you can do this course in four days so just do this course and after doing this course i gave these two exam so this aws certified cloud practitioner official practice set one and two so these are all these resources which i'm going to tell you in this video are free of cost right you don't need to pay anything you just need to pay for the exam hundred dollars right so these two exams are also for free and i did not start this so once when i gave this examination for the first time these two 2020 questions i scored uh, in the clf01 i scored 65 percent and the clf c02 i scored 35 percent but when I watched these two videos, a lot of concepts got cleared. And uh, after watching these two videos on Sunday, on the last day, uh, next day was my exam, I again gave these two and I scored 90%, right? So this shows that how these 900 questions are actually going to help you. Uh, you can watch these 900 questions or there are other videos also. This is 670 questions, this is 850 questions. It's totally up to you, how much time you have, right? So now how to get these courses? So you have this uh, courses thing, browse all courses. First of all, put a filter. Uh, languages make it english right and after that put uh, another filter and in this filter uh, yeah that's it and on this you need to put a search query so just put a search query as cloud practitioner right just search it and you're going to get that uh, four hour course this is the one aws pra cloud practitioner essentials right uh, now how to get these two uh, those two tests so for that you need to go to the uh, training category and in this training category just go on uh, exam preparation right and then you're going to get those two uh, practice set you can see this these are the two sets this is one and this is the second one so this is the second one so these are the two tests that you can give that's it i i gave all i i gave you all my resources which i referred before the examination right so remember it it's an ex easy examination and uh, I gave it from my home. So if many people have this question that did you go to the center or did you go, uh, take it from home? So I took it from home and they do proctoring, right? So it is your, in the whole examination video is going to be on and before the video, they check the, your surroundings, right? They will tell you to uh, pick your laptop and show left, right and at the back, right? So don't put any book uh, as, a, as your mouse pad, right? Many people put book as a mouse pad. Don't put it, don't put any kind of written material, right? and uh, maybe it's not visible but there is a whiteboard behind me so make sure that the whiteboard is clean and everything so these are the tips that i wanted to give you and best of luck and till the next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot